Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of my 6th edition Tyranid video on this time we're going to focus on the Trigon. The one I've always been talking, Turvagon, Trigon, Turvagon, Trigon. Nice imaginative naming there, Games Workshop. The Trigon. <clears throat> I like him. Not as much as the Moloch, but he's, he's essential to your unit. The Trigon is another, basically, I guess, sandworm type of creature. Uh, weapon skill 5, ballistic skill 3, toughness 6, wound 6, initiative 6. Uh, um, what am I saying? Initiative 6. Wound 6, initiative 4. Uh, 5 attacks for some reason, but I'm not complaining. Leadership 10, and once again, for all the naysayers, a 3 plus save. <laughs> There's so much fun you can have with this guy. Uh, now that I've finally gotten off to these parts, if you go back and watch my Lictor and Gene Stealer videos, you're going to really understand what I mean by a control army. These are the guys that make it happen. The Moloch, the Lictor, the Death Leaper, the Gene Stealer, uh, the Death Leaper Assassin Brood, the Manufactorum, Gene Stealers, the, uh, are they, I'm just going to call them Forest Lictors, the Brood Lord Hunting Pack. They work with these guys. These are the guys that make them viable. Uh, the Moloch and now the Trigon. Uh, specifically the Trigon Prime, too. Whew. Okay. The Trigon Prime, basically, is how you get your Synapse Creature or Synapse Creature across the table without endangering your HQ, okay? Because they're going to bring the Shadow of the Warp. They're going to bring uh, um, your Tunnels from Deep Striking. Um, you can you, you really just have to get them in. You really just have to have your lictors survive uh, in, un, until that turn, until the turn two. That's when the magic happens. The tunnels start appearing, which basically creates an indestructible teleport hormone. That's really what it is. When 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 the trigon pops up out of the ground, you put a marker on the table, and that indicates a tunnel entrance. At that point in time, anybody can come in on that entrance for the rest of the game from reserve without deviation. So even if all your lictors get wiped out after that, there's this little indestructible point on the game, on the table, which anybody can use. Very nice. Everybody's going to be staying away from that, especially with the Molochs, and they can start popping out of it at any time. Uh, um... I also have um, a unit of four bases of, of Ripper Swarms on the troop transport. Uh, not the Sky Rippers that are the fast attack, but the deep striking ones that you can make as a troop choice. Very nice. Uh, oh, it's, just, it's just so much fun you can have with these guys. Their fleet as well, if that's not good enough. They get their bioelectric pulse with containment spines. They get two pairs of scything talons, so that adds another attack to them. So that puts them, what, at six now? <laughs> and then, of course, when they assault, and these guys, the onslaught does work on, so that means when they assault, they're going to get their hammer of wrath. Uh, uh, um... They're going to get their plus one for assaulting. Uh, you can give them adrenal glands, so now they're going to get furious charge. They already had fleet, but they're also going to go move through cover too. These guys are a beast. Give them the regeneration. Uh, give them the, the acid blood. The, they get the prehensile tail. Give them the toxin spike. Definitely the Toxin Spike. That's one more attack. What are we up to now? Seven? Seven attacks? Uh, <laughs> at, at, at 
strength six poison. So anybody who has a toughness six or below, you're going to reroll your wounds. It's insane. Oh, it, it, it was usually a, a Trigon and two Molochs is, is the combo that I've been looking at. It, it's either that or you're going to go full Carnifex Brutes. Uh, you can give them Bio Artifacts. Yes. It's, it, it, wow, the combinations are, are endless. I'm gonna, I'll probably do a whole other video on wrapping this all up and how to make a control army since people are asking me about that and just how to wrap this all up. Uh, and how to just get your whole army pretty much to deep strike or outflank on your opponent's table edge by turn two. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I think I'm going on 14 games now with this with this setup, and th there's very little anybody can do about it. There really is. I mean, even if they say, oh, we're going to kill all your lictors on turn one. Yeah, good luck with that. But let's even say you do. So what? These units are just deep striking, so you just have to take a little chance on your on your, uh, on your your deviation rolls, and most of them aren't even affected by that because, like I said, with the Molochs, you want to hit a unit. Um, yeah, more on that later because a lot of talking about the Trigon Prime is more talking about the strategies, but I'm just saying this guy is a beast. He's worth it. Get one. Get the Prime if you can afford it. The Prime is definitely a good thing because that is what brings the Shadow of the Warp to the other side of the table instantly. Uh, that's where you have all these Psyker units suddenly get screwed, okay? The, the Grey Knights especially. Um, but Eldar, yeah, that Seer Council or anything like that. Everybody with a Psychic, Psychic Brotherhood, Psychic Pilot just has the word P in their name. <laughs> gets negative three to their leadership. It's, this is the guy that brings it all together for you. Um, try him out. Definitely fun. Um, and, and get those tunnels up and going. Uh, you know, you can either go with the multiple Molochs. I like the Molochs just because I like the Ordnance Blast double tap, but uh, you could bring in other, 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 you know, Trigons, and suddenly you'll have you know, on turn two, three tunnels, indestructible reserve points on the table that you can bring your deep, stri your, your deep striking units in on. And you can't kill it. Even if somehow in some fantasy world these naysayers believe they can kill all your trigons in one turn, uh, the tunnel never goes away. And the brilliant thing about this is that it all happens in the movement phase. So you can then gear your deployment according to the results of what's happening. And then you still get to shoot. And if you've got the infiltrated ones, like I use when I use the, uh, the, the Manufactorum Gene Stealers, uh, that can set up within, within any distance, really up to one inch away of enemy models as long as they're in a ruin or a building, and then the Broodlord Gene Stealers, which can set up in unoccupied buildings. Any unoccupied buildings. So somebody takes fortifications, somebody has that bastion. As far as I read it, <laughs> if, they don't, if they don't manage to put infiltrating units in that bastion, okay, during the setup phase, your Gene Stealers set up inside their bastion, their Fortress of Redemption talk about some pissed off players but trust me this all fits together uh i'm i'm probably going to do an overview on just control armies in general just so that you can show people the pain that you can bring them and i hope you watch it and i hope you enjoy it and i hope you get excited about the tyranids like i do see you next time